no real structure to this, to be honest. Um, if you want to edit anything, or if you think anything was shouldn't have been said, just yell anal. That's how we know when to edit. So, so if I say like a retard, you have to say anal because I have to edit those. You can't say no. no. They they get a pull down. I shouldn't say they. No one really watches the our shit enough for it to get pulled down, but. No one will sponsor us. So. <laughs> welcome to the Eric Andre Show. Yes, yeah. Welcome to the Brutal View with John and Jake. The thumbnail will Anal. be different. <laughs> <laughs> the thumbnail will be different. Uh, Eric is not joining us today because he got the Rona. No, but... It's hot in there. It's what yeah, we I call imagine. AIDS nowadays. Yeah. Dickie's back. I'm sure... Um, some people who like the first people that subscribe to Probably my YouTube. Nobody. That was like four years ago. <laughs> yeah. A long time ago, we had a show out. Um, and we wanted to have Jake on as a guest anyways, but since Eric cannot make it this week, we're deciding to record just the two of us. Just the two of us. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a very boring episode this mm, week. Probably going to talk a lot of shit. I don't have Sorry a lot of... wasting your money. Don't have a lot of topics to go on, so I feel like if we can just shoot the shit, it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, um, I'll start with, how's the quarantine life been treating you? My life hasn't changed at all. If anything, I'm doing more nowadays than I was last year. I'm <laughs> kind of that way, too, to be honest. Like, what, I got two different jobs now. I got my new apartment. Yeah. I, f- I finished trade school while this was going on. Yeah, right. Um, People are still retarded. I bought a new gun. There you go. Um, I can't believe... I'm going to guess I'm not allowed in Massachusetts anymore. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe... Um, I don't know. I can't believe the election shit kind of went as long as it did. I know, that was wild. We're still kind of in it. Right. Yeah, I saw something um yesterday about um some secretary or something. There's too fucking many of them <laughs> telling the Pentagon to halt transitions with Joe Biden. <clears throat> I didn't read what it was about, but that sounds kind of serious. Catchy headline. Yeah, they're all catchy headlines, and then you read it, and it's just like a bunch of hoopla. Yeah, dude, I fucking hate how the news is like that, dude. All the fucking reports that like I just saw one that said India has. 10 million or they finally hit 10 million cases of covid but the death rate is still 0.014 percent yeah and it's also to make it seem like those are all the active cases yeah like it's bullshit that's just like a added up yeah i don't know i hate how that that's just to scare the people though yeah like why not report on the deaths why report on all the cases because if we did this with the flu or anything else we'd be fucking reporting on a daily no, basis. I'm pretty sure the flu doesn't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure it's just COVID now. Yeah, right. I know. I'll probably never hear about the flu again. Shit's so fucking dumb. I saw that they uh, approved the vaccination today, December 19th, the day after Trump can no longer be president anymore. Mike Pence took it yesterday. Yeah. I mean, they approved it for like public, yeah. like emergency use. I saw use. a nurse. She took it and then she fainted. Yep, I saw so that too. I don't want to take it because I got the flu shot one time in my life and I almost fucking fainted. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it was just the weirdest feeling. I actually um sa- saved that video of my of them taking it. It was like the three people got the trials and then the nurse at the end. She was talking about it right after and then was yeah, like, she was "I'm like, sorry," Ew. and just passed out. You think this shit's going to turn to I Am Legend? <laughs> probably. Vaccine just fucks everyone up. That's probably just like a microchip or something. Right. Are you going to get it? Probably not. I don't know if I give a shit enough to get it. Like, if it's as similar as the flu, which it is, and it's not that serious, which it isn't, then why? I don't get the flu vaccine. Yeah, well, it's not so, even a va- it's not even a vaccine because it's just it's, it's just a, a shot. It's because you get it's different every year the flu shot. Right, it's a treatment. It's a temporary treatment. Oh, well, how, how can you get a vaccine for something? Because COVID is what is it's it's SARS. It's SARS two. Yep. Ebola is basically the same thing. I forget yep. what it is. It's yeah, the it's shape the, of the I think virus. it's SARS one Ebola. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. And then there's MERS, which was in the Middle East, which is the same virus. Yeah. It it's kind of derivative of the swine flu, I think, too, right? It's, yeah, it's just a respiratory. Infection. Yeah, and those can't be cured. 
you can't not get those. Those will constantly yeah. change every single year. Like the strains just get a little worse or a little better each. Like you get different strains. It's not like, I don't know. People act like the vaccine's like, oh, I get it once and I'm never going to get COVID in my life. It's just like the flu shot. You're going to have to get it every fucking year or every couple of months. Well, it's like tetanus. You got to keep getting it. Right. If you don't get it after a certain time, you'll get tetanus. It'd be nice if it was tetanus because tetanus is what, seven years or something? Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. I had to get the last one. I had that blood infection. I had to get a tetanus shot. Yeah, dude, that was fucked up. Cool. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. That's cool. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Not um, of COVID, I've got worse. <laughs> yeah, right. And that was one of the things, like, it, we've ingested so much fucked up stuff into our body, and specifically the both of us. And, and kill me. Didn't, we're still here. We're still kicking. We might be a little more retarded. Your liver's a little strong. There you go. Oh, you can't say that? No, I can say retarded, but I feel like I can't say what it was about... A, what was a... Jake says it all the time. Spread the word, end the word. Like, how are you going to spread the word to end the word? <laughs> You just go up to everyone and say, hey, what's up, retard? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> End the word. I mean, that's not bad, though. That's kind of smart. We cause... have this one retarded girl at work. <laughs> so we like sick of it. the other day, she's like, I had to wipe up all the snow off my car. <laughs> she's fucking... <laughs> She's, uh, don't feel bad for her. She's a fucking sick fuck. Yeah, see, but now she I don't knows. know if I can keep that in. Well, yeah, I can. I, I mean, when you called her she a retard. She system. She knows. Yeah. Like, so she's, like, autistic? Not, like, fully blown? No, she's, like, not there. She's just not... But she's just crazy. She's got, like, mental illnesses, but she knows it, and she uses it to her advantage. Because one time, she, uh... I forget what it was, but she wasn't doing something, and she goes, they can't fire me. I'm retarded. <laughs> She literally said that. <laughs> oh my god. She knows how to work the system. I would do that same fucking thing. Are you serious? Like, uh, the other day, uh, we were watching on the camera, she, her and her uh, boyfriend got into an argument, dude, she almost ran him over in the fucking parking lot, and then she peeled out going like 80 miles per hour past Jesus. the DMV. Yeah, she almost like killed two people. She came out of the DMV, saw so one time on the wrong side, uh, she hit a car, bounced off of that car, hit another car. And they hit another car, and one of the cars she hit so hard they had to use the jaws of life to get the door open. Oh my god! <laughs> and like, how do you do that in ten feet? Like, they, yeah. they crashed in front of Giovanni's. That's twenty feet down the Bro, road. Bro, she had to slam Coming that out gas. Of the parking lot that hot. Yeah, she had to do pedal to but, the metal. Like. Yeah. So, but like, uh, speaking of that story of um, her almost killing her boyfriend, she was talking. My boss's mom doesn't like swearing, and she was there. She's like, oh, someone swore. She's like, I hate that word, and she's like. I never swear. <laughs> and then someone's like, what about the other day when you're freaking out about your boyfriend when she's mad and you're throwing the F-bombs everywhere and she just goes, she had the most embarrassed look and she goes, uh, 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 I don't remember. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I wish I could do that. Yeah. Damn. I would 100% do that, dude. If I had like the option. Wake up in a jail cell the next morning and be like, what happened? Yeah, I don't right. remember. I would give myself like a hardcore like, eh, wait, what did I do? And they're like, would... you probably don't remember because you're seven times over the legal limit. <laughs> like, yeah, it had nothing to do with your mental capacity. You I were was just like drunk. an old Sonny when um, Charlie was like, they were in court and he's like, and they burned that building down and he's like, he's like, in my defense, I was drunk. I shouldn't be charged. That's not me. You know? <laughs> right. That's drunk me. That's a different person. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess I could start the uh, episode officially now. Um, I did say our real names. Me and Eric are using our real names now. We're not using... My name's Dickie Normus. Yeah, that's Dickie Normus. I'm John. This is episode 30. It's not even like I'm hiding my name. It's just like that's just my Instagram hand. Like, yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, same thing with me. I always just said brute because it came over from my music. I didn't really like... I if you know. look at my Facebook bio, under where it says pronounce his name, it says suck my dick <laughs> it's spelled really funny like i made it so it's like so it's like the pronunciation parentheses, <laughs> right so like parentheses m yeah <laughs> that's mad smart yeah yeah i don't know so you're definitely not taking the uh the vaccine are you eventually gonna take it probably not i'm 25 years old it won't kill me until i'm 72 yeah i think i'm with donald you on trump that had covid and he was back in the oval office within three days yeah they gave him. I know it upsets a lot of people that Gam Gam couldn't survive it, and Donald right. Trump did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're not. But uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't they? I heard they gave him Re Regeneron. Is that? Yeah, the... he had a. It was an anti. Um, like an antigen thing. It was antibody, um, whatever. Yeah, it was like an antibody remedy or something that he had, or some kind of like. I don't know, like, um, that's kind of like. 
I don't know, like bananas and fruit stuff that boosts your immune system. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I don't think it was that. It was probably like legit, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He, he kills it. Yeah, and he did walk away from it perfectly fine at seventy two. Yeah, he said he was gonna. I think he's seventy four. Seventy four. He said he, he said that he was thinking about wearing a Superman shirt when he walked. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he did. I saw that. I saw that on like CNN. It's it just saw some people. Everybody's about getting upset nowadays. Yeah. I know we always say we're not going to be like political and shit and we're always political. So I'm just going to say this now. Uh, in five years, people are going to look back and be like, wow, Trump wasn't that bad. That's all. They're all one face. And it's, yeah. it's not too political. If it, was more than, if it was more than one political party, you wouldn't just have Republicans and Democrats yeah. winning the election every time. You'd have the third party. Yeah. The political party so fucking Nobody stupid. probably heard what I just said because his microphone was so far away. <laughs> I think it picked up a little feed. I'll check it on the editing. Um, did you see the Jake Paul Nate Robinson fight at all? Who didn't see it? Do you have any uh, thoughts on... Well, I think it's funny that he's trying to fight Conor McGregor. Yep, yep, yep. Me and Eric... I saw Dana White was like, I'll let, uh... He's like, fuck Conor McGregor, I'll let a man in Nunez or whatever kick his ass. <laughs> yeah. Which and she would. would. She'd she'd beat the fu- she would beat the fuck so out of him. Because, what, he lost that first fight. And he knocked out Nate Robinson, who's the shortest basketball player, just to start there, even though he was amazing at basketball. I don't know how the fuck he dunks. Yeah. But fighting unprofessional boxers and he has a little experience he's just basically being a bully and yeah. he's cocky because he's a youtuber and he's getting views because people think it's funny yep and then he's gonna go in the ring with someone no, it probably wouldn't even be conor mcgregor it could probably be anyone in ufc it's like uh, the when the wrestlers go over like brock lesnar was good for like a few um and then uh, like cm punk got knocked out in like 10 seconds right right and then ronda rousey was so bad she had to go to wwe yeah <laughs> yeah i know what a flop ronda rousey was she had everyone so excited i kind of knew you that know what sucks with those like the female fighters is like like once they lose like a title they never come back that was like with a uh, jo- johanna jezzard yeah Jezer- uh, that Polish she was crazy she was like my favorite female fighter she lost her title and then she hasn't won a fight since. Oh, she hasn't won a fight I don't think since. She, no, I think she's Damn. Ass every time. Yeah, no, I didn't know. Um, that I thought she actually stopped fighting. So that would she probably retired. Probably makes sense though, because if she hasn't won a fight since, I wouldn't have heard about it. <laughs> yeah, and the fact Logan Paul's uh, hitting up Mayweather, um, and Mayweather's like oh, yeah. entertaining it heavily. No, it's a, I'm pretty sure there's an official date for that now. It, exactly. Yeah, it's like a real thing. But so, like, if you think about it, I mean. Mayweather won't come out to lose. So. Yes. Oh, I mean, so there's like no he way he could McGregor, lose that Like fight. McGregor, like on, there's no way McGregor was gassed. Right. There, it did, wasn't that many rounds. And yeah. He's been fighting, and he wasn't boxing bad. And the just the way the fight ended, it was just like, yeah. And then like it was just over. It's like, oh wow. Well, I feel like with a fight like McGregor and Mayweather, Mayweather knew exactly what to do for Mayweather and Logan Paul. He's just doing it for the money. Like, he, he doesn't even need to, yeah, like... The thing is, Mayweather's also old. He is, but... So, like... It, yeah. But, yeah. like, you know... I, I just think... No shout-out against old people, but... <laughs> no, fuck old people. <laughs> we talk hella shit on old oh, people. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? okay. All right, then what's that Senior Citizens uh, <laughs> group? It was in South Park. Fuck them. Yeah. Person. Fuck a senior citizen, suck a wiener, sit and spin. Isn't that from uh, the interview? I believe. Um... Yeah, no, I I think uh, Floyd is going to fight because he said it's not going to be on his record just in case, like, the freak chance that he gets knocked out. But um, I feel like the Pauls just need to get their asses kicked. Me and Eric basically said that last week. Oh, so. shout out to my girlfriend. Forgot. She told me to shout her out. Oh, normal time frame. Do you think about um, getting the Xbox Five? I was actually talking to... Um... That kid yesterday about it when we're playing box. I mean, I might, but I'm gonna wait until at least the first gens are gone and they come out with a different like version of it because normally those first gens have all those bugs and shit. Yeah, like I saw one catch on fire. I kind of want one. I I want a game to come out on it. That, yeah, like, like I everyone... just don't know how to justify right. getting rid of my Xbox One right now. Exactly, while it's still working fine. That's just older people things, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I kept I still my original. Play all the games I want, people still play. 
Yeah. Yeah, you'll save your Nintendo until we sold it. I was going to say, I kept my original Xbox, the 360, the old PlayStations. I kept all that shit for, like, years until I bought a new system. Dude, all them shit the bed on me. My Xbox OG yeah. shit the bed. But that thing was old. I got that. I never realized it until Xbox tweeted. They're like, oh, happy, like, 15 years to this. Right. Oh, my da- that means my dad got me an Xbox, like, right when it first came out. Like, yeah. That would make sense, because I would have been... It was 05, right? I would have been, like, 10. Which makes sense. Or something around there. I think it was 05. Or maybe it was maybe it was like 17 years. I don't know what it was, but like I saw yeah. the tweet, I favorited it, and then like... It is wild. Dude, I feel like the ATF's gonna be looking for me soon, looking at all my fucking... If they see my Twitter and all the shit I've been liking. Yeah, yeah. Like about and... like 3D printed guns and all like, <laughs> these guns and like... Idlib and shit. I actually bring your name up uh, quite often on the podcast. Um, every time that I talk about those videos of like soldiers getting shot like, and at, shit and wars, this, <laughs> uh, this is the person that sends me all of it. Yeah, <laughs> they definitely have you on a list. Just monitoring the shit you look up and buy and everything. I saw. I have this tweet. It's like peak Mexican cartel TikTok, and then like it's just like zoom. Like you look. It was a fucking tiger, and now he's wrestling the tiger <laughs> in the back of his rafter. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I find it good. You know what's weird is, like, everyone has to go on the dark web or, like, yeah. these private security shits to find weird videos and, like, shit you wouldn't expect to be happening in the world. But I just, you know, I just go on the Twitter search, and you just use your keywords. And right. It's on Twitter. It's on Facebook. Yeah. I, oh, I think you have to actually search for it, though, and, like, follow those things. It's not hard. You just use keywords. The final those right. war, war videos, I just did hashtag Armenia, hashtag Azure, 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 yeah. Azure, whatever it's called. Yeah. Hashtag 2020. Yeah. Now, that shit, that shit was wild. But, but then once you start following one, you start seeing what they That's like, what I was just going to say. Like, I just, it's just been kind of, like, my Twitter went from, like, following meme pages and girls to now basically just all these, like... Stuff that interests me. Yeah. Stuff that I see that you'll probably never even think exists or to see. Like that video of that dog breathing under the water. Yeah, that shit was nuts. We talked about that on this too. Yeah. Shit's so fucking or crazy. Or that oxygen reversing. Yep, talked yeah, about that, that for that a good shit. 30 minutes. <laughs> that's just recent stuff. That's yeah. why I said it. There's more. There's a yeah. lot more. I say a, a lot that I get most of my info from you on this podcast. <laughs> like that's yeah. that's where most of it comes from. Um yeah, no, I, I I do think uh, I do send you all my videos because I know it'll give you material. To right, talk about. and like, it's all interesting like shit. This. Yeah, we are, we know we have the similar interests when it's like wild shit like that. Um, the world's not what you think it is. It is not. Yeah, did you see that video of the guy, the Asian dude, getting the 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 vaccine, and the doctor didn't shoot the vaccine into his arm? Yeah, I saw that. Where yeah. The guy, the, the doctor, the, did. They did it, and then they eventually admitted that the. I saw the. I think I saw it on actually like a meme page on my Instagram because I, I still follow memes on Instagram. Mm. Everybody needs a good giggle or two in their life. Right. But I did see it, and then it was just an empty syringe. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't even tell if it was she empty. I just know that. I'm so itchy. Yeah, I just know that he didn't uh, push the syringe in. Yeah. He didn't inject anything because it was air in there. If it was yeah, empty, that would have killed him. So. Yeah, would have had a heart attack. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I mean, if I see shit like that, that's the only reason why I'm like, okay, well, now I am skeptical about the vaccine. I wasn't before, but... I saw the CEO, I think it was, was a Pivsner? Pivsner, whatever it is. Pilsner? Whatever, yeah, probably. But I think Pils- F in it. Oh, maybe not. But then. the one that Mike Pence took, the CEO is like, I'll wait to take it until everyone who needs it takes it. It's like, all right, so you're not going to take it. You know there's something in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, fuck that noise. I don't know. Well, that's like, so they're giving us a COVID vaccine. Why aren't they giving us one for, like, the common cold? Right, it's the exactly. Same virus. Yeah. And that's why I had so many po- false positives. Yeah. You can test positive for COVID. Right. From, the, like, having the common cold. Yeah. Shit's stupid, dude. I hate the fucking government. I hate it. I'm him. so happy Haley tested, tested negative. Yeah, that is I good. I was wait, so waiting for her to pop up as a positive since everyone seems to get positive. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a lot of those tests aren't even accurate anymore. Like, half the tests that the fucking clinics i saw something I about a, a portuguese uh supreme court i don't know if it was true or not because you know Diz goes on his rampages and sometimes he just is going Diz disaster yeah so oh, yeah but something about a, so i think it, it was in i don't know if it was in portugal or if it was in they went somewhere and then they were detained because they tested positive for covid 
but the Portuguese Supreme Court ruled that they should be let go because the COVID tests were only 3% accurate, not 97%. That's like uh, in Ireland, the Supreme Court ruled that Subway can't call their bread bread because there's too much sugar in it for it to right? be bread. Yeah, which is fucking Because Subway's true. supposed to be the healthy shit. I was going to say. Yeah, well, I've never tasted I get the honey... Uh, honey, like oh, the wheat honey one or yeah, whatever. It yeah, it's delicious. Bread yeah. shouldn't taste like that. That's what I'm thinking. I actually been buying wheat bread now. I'm like fucking sickened by how, I don't know, America. Well, yeah, like bleach, like white bread is just bleach bread. It literally, the amount of sugar and all that shit is is insane. Um, do you know what Quibi is? Is it a website? It was a streaming service. Oh yeah, with, with the Jack Blacks. I, I think the Jack Black Jack Sparrows. I don't know if it had the Jack. Sp- I don't know. I know in late 2019, and then for half of this year, it was being advertised on almost all the apps I would go on. And then mad comedians were talking about how they got little shows and shit on it. It went bankrupt. Really? And they have to just dis- delete and destroy the service because, I mean, anyone try competing with fucking Netflix and yeah, Amazon no. Prime and shout Hulu. out to my girlfriend's Instagram, Haley H A L E Y underscore. E L D E R D. You know she's gonna get some strange followers now, right? We got some uh, global people listening yeah, to this. Told me that. Pretty much what I was getting at with Quibi. Um, mad fucking things were trying to advertise it. Mad people were blowing it up. It, it failed. It was a streaming service that failed. Do you think there's going to be any more streaming services? Because how can one blow up in a market with Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, well, it, Showtime, it, HBO? You know what I, I mean? think there will be. If, see, you know, you go to Hulu. Hulu's got a lot of TV, like cartoons and stuff. Yep. They even got FX now. Yeah. Best thing, I think, on Hulu is the FX stuff. If you go to Netflix, they just have a lot of movies, a lot of originals. But if you get a streaming service that people start to, like, know about, where um, it has not only cartoons that people like to watch. Yeah. TV shows. But also like all the movies because Netflix not just the originals they have all the movies you go on Hulu you're gonna find shit movies I never yeah find fucking I don't have a Hulu. lot of movies on Hulu it's all like so there's like really no in between streaming service well there's Disney Plus with their Disney movies yeah but I don't like Disney movies yeah the only reason I get that is to watch The Mandalorian and then as soon as it's over I just cancel it. yeah I'm actually getting the free trial to watch The Mandalorian and then but if you can get like a streaming service that gets like HBO and like those. Yeah, it's tricky though because all the rights are obviously owned by the individual company. So one streaming service, but you can still pay royalties to a company and make right. profit off of it. I feel like they charge so much though. So like Netflix buys shows and shit. Like they bought The Office off NBC for like a good twenty or thirty million. It was some wicked high number. NBC saw how much money they made in the past five years. Now NBC has their own streaming service. That's why The Office is leaving. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, they're going to Peacock, and NBC's going to have everything on Peacock, which is the stupidest name Peacock. for a fucking streaming service. Peacock. But... I have a pet Peacock. <laughs> Until I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jake needs a refill. Gun to your head. Would you rather drown or burn alive? Probably burn alive. I think so, too. Because your nerve endings end out like right on the skin. That's like napalm. You don't feel it because after it burns, because it sticks to you and it burns all your like nerve endings off. Yeah. Like you feel it obviously, but like it goes away. Drowning, you're just holding your breath, and then you hear my stomach. Is that the whole thing your stomach? No, I think there's thunder outside. That's definitely your stomach. <laughs> we should grab some food after this. <laughs> but um. Actually, I do have a ton of food to cook, but oh, yeah, right. I, I do the same thing. Um, I'm kind of scared to drown alive. I feel like it's more terrifying. Burning alive is so quick. It's chaotic. Yeah. So you're not really, like, obviously it probably hurts like a bitch. Yeah, but, but you'll die. But you'll die. Drowning, Drowning you're just sitting you're there like panicking, breathing. And, breathing. Like you try to breathe, and you're breathing in water. And yeah. And you're fucking throwing up water, and then you're breathing in water, and you're suffocating. I think you're much more aware while drowning than you are. Uh, burning, but... Alright, gun to your head. Would you rather have your scrum eaten or eat some dirty scrum? And that's just your butthole. So would you rather get your butthole licked? What the fuck's a scrum? Uh, it's on a Your Mom's House podcast. Uh, Apparently 50-year-old, so... Yeah, so. 
Um, I think it's wicked funny. <laughs> Scrum. Um, would you rather get your butthole licked or lick a dirty butthole? Probably get my, rather get my butthole licked. Dirty butthole sounds gross. It'd be a girl's, but yeah, I you want poop on your tongue? think I agree with you. <laughs> I'd do the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. Just the dingleberries ticking, tickling your nose. I've kind of... Uh, have you ever <laughs> you ever been hitting it from the back? <laughs> have you ever uh, been hitting it from the back and then and then you get a little stank from the booty? Everybody's got booty stank. I feel like there's some I don't know, man. I've dealt with some that are a little worse than others. I don't I don't know if uh, you know what I mean, but uh, he can't really speak on this that well. He he's in a relationship. He's narrowed down. He's had like three girlfriends in the last year. Like yeah, five years. So like I've had sex with more than three people though. All right, Four. So, yeah, I was say. <laughs> yeah <That's> so not... <laughs> the people listening, I don't care. They can. It's not a wide list. Yeah, yeah, they can. They could probably make some guesses. Sure. Um, been some dirty situations. I uh, heard that question asked, and I thought, um, I mean, I don't know. So the comment was from guys. They don't mind a little smell down there because it makes them know that they're like human. And they're not like perfect. It's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. That's disgusting to me. That just means you ain't cleaning your ass correctly. Like you're not wiping correctly. How the fuck would you? That means that dude has a poop fetish, it right? Is it you're wiping back to front? <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That, that's that's disgusting to me. But um, I don't know. I saw the question and I was like, I can. Well, some this people up. like Cleveland steamers. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I I couldn't ever deal with anything shit related. That's a bit much for me. I don't really know if I have a line in sexual relations. Feet and shit. Those are the yeah, two I'm things. Not a, not a foot person. Not a foot person. Like, um, I don't care if you just took a shower. You're still standing on the floor. Right. I think feet are meant to... Walk. Yes. <laughs> they're not meant to be like licked and fucking sniffed. It's like, nah, they're holding up the rest of your body. They're touching, separating you from the... I don't know. Fit, foot shit is gross. Do you have any weird fetishes like that? <laughs> I like when my dad watches. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Little parental advisory. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I feel like me and Eric have talked about so much weird shit on those that we've probably talked about this before, but I figured I'd ask you. I believe in God, so not too much I won't do. True. <laughs> <laughs> That you're gonna say, yeah, so I'm a true Christian, you know. What's the best movie you've watched in 2020? I know there's not a lot of options, but. Oh, 2020? Yep. Well, I watched No Country for Old Men the first time in 2020. Did you? Yeah. That was your first time? Yeah. Great That's movie. But very, I think very good the movie. The most, re most recent movie that I've seen that I thought was really, really good and I watched multiple times. I fucking loved it. Uh, Extraction. That was a great movie. Oh, that was a very good movie. I watched movie. that a lot of times. But I also, like, a lot of people like drama. They like movies yeah. like that. But if I'm watching a movie, I want violence. I want gunfights. Yeah. And I want it to be, like, nonstop. <coughs> like, yes. I mean, like, I'm not a big, like, action movie guy. Like, I don't like those huge, crazy explosions. Like, no, extraction gunfights and hand-to-hand -hand It's combat. realistic, though. It's like a, it's a real, like, you know that that is what the circumstance would bring in that country. You know that that is, like, real-type training, the way yeah. he moves and shit. I, um... Obviously, the fighting. He's a six-foot-five dude fighting little four-foot Indians, so obviously I, uh... he's gonna throw them around. I saw that was another fighting movie I saw recently that I didn't like. I saw 1917, and that was, like, the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. They were comparing to, like, Saving Private Ryan and shit. I go there, there's, like, one of the kids gets stabbed in the stomach halfway through, and I'm just, like, they there's a down German plane, and the kid's, like, I'm gonna help him, blah, 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 and they help him, and the guy stabs him, and I'm just, like, I got angry. I was, like, it's fucking stupid. Like, he deserves Spoiler that. alert. <laughs> should have fucking got. And then the yeah. movie's retarded. They have that guy... Who plays roles in movies? It was like the general. I don't know his name, but yeah, I just one of those. Face, I recognize it, right, but I don't know who the fuck right. he is, and I couldn't tell you what movie he's in. But he's in a decent amount of movies, and then it's like this charge, and you don't see anything, and then the guy finds other guy's brother, and he's like, "Oh, your brother died like a really brave man." <laughs> and like, see me like, "Where's my mom?" <laughs>
That's stupid. And that was 1917, yeah, was brought to you by like Dickie that movie, Normus. War Horse or whatever. That was stupid. So too. fucking that was stupid. Movie. Yeah, that, movie that. That, that movie like pissed me the fuck seen. off, dude. That movie pissed me the fuck off. Like, let's give honor to all the horses that died in World War One. Yeah. But see, I think 1917. We kill more cows a year. <laughs> yeah. To eat. Like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> right. We kill more humans a year. Yeah. Just fucking. I don't know. But um, the movie 1917. I just saw it today has an extremely high critical rating. So the critics think it's amazing, it's and the fan bad. review is less than five percent. Oh, what do you like the Rotten Tomatoes? I don't think it was Rotten they Tomatoes. Do that. They're like, oh, this is horrible. And they're yeah, like, oh, I think it was movie. something. And then like, oh, this is a good movie, and everyone's like, this is the dumbest fucking <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Right, Dave Chappelle when he put out yeah. his special, and it was zero percent. Rotten Tomatoes is probably run by fucking idiots. Rotten Tomatoes is run by Karens and stupid fucking pussy little. Well, it's TD Bank. Fuck you. We can tell the story if you want. I was just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's just something I said to them. Oh yeah, like, it's not a specific story. I forgot TD Bank just treats you like shit. No, they just suck. And, yeah. And they made me mad when I emailed them, and I was like, "Well, fix this, or I'm just gonna never do use TD Bank again, and never recommend it to anyone." So I'm just keeping true to my promise. Yep, TD Bank is Worst horrible. Bank you could ever use. If, if Don't a lot use of it. things that we support and advertise. The thing that we don't like the most and that we're never going to advertise except for a bad advertisement. TD Bank. TD Bank. <laughs> it's all the most convenient bank. Dude, it's stupid. Yeah. Just the whole bank is stupid. Yeah. Like, I remember one time, this isn't like anything. I put, like, I deposited cash to pay my car bill because if you deposit cash, it's supposed to be instant. I deposited the cash. It said I had a balance in my bank account, and every time I went to pay my fucking bill, it said I had $4 in my bank account. When I had, I remember way this. more money. Yeah, than four dollars. I deposited I a large lump sum. Yeah, and it should have been instantaneous. This is one of the many things. TD Bank. I've I've heard other people say the same shit though. It's like the worst bank in the world. And honestly, like everybody in it, who like not just everybody they hire is just a bunch of morons. Right. Yeah. Like, I heard the customer sword. Dead fucking idiots. Right. It's it's like real bad. The customer and service. Just, I talked to this guy I work with when I work on the Seacoast, and apparently he has TD Bank too, and something about the TD Banks in Maine, Rochester, with all of them. Fucking right. shitty. I'm like, oh, so it's not just yeah, it's just idiots. No, yeah, they're all horrible. When I, I've heard people from work talk about it that are in completely different towns and shit like that. Even um, my boss, who has TD Bank for his business, says it's the worst fucking bank ever. Yeah, no, it's crazy. They just get you where they trap you. Banks in general, though... It's pretty hard to find a real good one. Fucking Zionist. It's really hard to find a good bank, in my opinion. I feel like I lucked out because they were Credit was, unions are good. Uh, exactly. It was a credit union, and it was like a federal one, so it was one that was regulated by the government. They didn't want to make anything fucked up with those. Do new. Did you see uh, Eminem dropped his fucking side B? Yeah, I heard Jake told me, but I just honestly don't even listen to anything yeah. Eminem produces anymore. So honestly, I, I don't give a fuck about Eminem anymore. Me and Eric talked about this too. He, it's, it's done. Like, it's funny because you were like the biggest Eminem fan. It, I was. We kids. Yeah. And I think Eminem that's part of the reason. Nine. Yeah. And Tech I still love... Still fun <laughs> exactly. I still bump Tech 9. I still love Tech 9. I still bump it. But dude, Eminem, it, he's just overrated. And, and at this point, we've, he's done everything. Yeah. He's just talking on, on songs. It's not rapping anymore. It's not rhythmic. I didn't... Like, look at the way I can rhyme. It's like, we get it. Exactly, You can dude. rhyme better than fucking anyone. So Snoop Dogg said, like, oh, Eminem's, like, like the rap game considers him, like, obviously top 10 of all time. And Snoop was like, but I don't consider him that. He's like, I don't think he's top 10 of all time. Coming from Snoop Dogg. And Eminem. Shizzle my whistle, do, do, do. <laughs> And Eminem, he, he really doesn't have a place in saying that. But Eminem responded on his album and like took a shot back and people like freaking out like oh how could snoop do this i don't think it's that big of a deal no. to say that because well rap beefs aren't what they used to be there's no more They're shootouts not. over um, industry rap beefs like we'll get to kashi six nine fucking walking around like it's well nothing. there is an on a different level though the, the the younger artists they like just walk out with guns in their hands and that it's really stupid the, like, um, i remember when like like, well, I know King Von just got killed. Right, yeah. But I remember when, like, 50 Cent and uh, the game were shooting it out at the studio and, like, Murder, Inc. And, um, yeah. fucking, uh, Shady Aftermath, whatever it's fucking called. Right, yeah, um, yeah. Tupac and Biggie, obviously. Yeah. 
big but those L. were real hood beefs i think that's another big huge pun, difference loss of the battle of diabetes yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think the biggest difference is that these kids just think they're invincible and they think the world belongs to them especially the, the drugs, kids bro and the ones they're that get a gun addicts. dude they get a gun and they're like oh yeah i have a gun i'm invincible like Look, I'm so tough. They can't even figure out how to load it. Never shot it in their life. Don't know how to load it. Don't know how to clean it. Don't know what to do. What it they? It's just, yeah. I guess ignorance. I don't know how else to put it. They're fucking stupid now. I was reading this book by this guy one time, and um, he was talking about <clears throat> this real story. So, you don't think that like, so if you're trained to do one thing, or like you see how something's done, you don't think that's how you will react in the future. But there's this uh. It was a new DA agent. He was with um some senior DA agents. A drug bust went on. As soon as they walked up to the door, shit started shooting. All the DA agents were killed. They um found the new guy, the new DA agent. He was uh they found him with a pocket. His pockets were full of shells. He was policing the range during the shootout. He just went blank and just went back to his training. And when the shootout was happening, he was walking around picking up all the rounds. Off of the ground. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you just don't think. Your brain just goes back to what you're well, told. If you're not, if right. something's not drilled into your head how to do this, when shit hits the fan, you're going to react different than you yes. think you're going to react. I learned that. So when I was very young, I, I took a lot of boxing lessons, and I've been in a lot of fights, and that stuck with me the most. Most of them with his girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and I beat the shit out of them. I'm just kidding. Um... I, I, that was the one thing that stuck with me. They, like, you can punch a punching bag and you get the hooks down, you get the punch down as well as you can. But the second that you're in that fight and then someone punches you in the face, you forget everything that you learned. You just go straight back to instinct and you just wail your arms. It has to be repetition. You have to get multiple years of training, multiple fights, multiple shootouts, I guess. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's not. I don't know. We're in a different generation. Good thing I don't pick up my bullets off of the range. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why, did, why would he be picking up his bullets in training? He just went blank. But in training, He was though. policing in firing range. He, was, he must have just been what he had to do, pick up the bullets. They and, probably did that as like a discipline thing. Yeah. They're like, oh, make sure you clean up after type of thing. Yeah, I don't know. When, you had, a, when you had a gun range, you just push it like uh, when you're at... um. Like an indoor gun range and have a brush and you just push it towards the range and they just pick it up and they reload it. Yeah. And that's the rounds they'll let you use. So if you ever, you know, legally go to a gun range and fire a gun, don't ever get your ammo from that gun range because it's just going to make your gun dirty as fuck. Yeah. You're just firing old rounds. Right. Everyone says that. Yeah. Well, everyone that's been to range and actually that's shot like, guns says Surprisingly, that. we went to the Army Barracks sells ammunition. You never think of that. We went there and we got a whole bunch of two, two, three one time because it was cheap. The dirtiest fucking rounds I've ever fired. <laughs> yeah, that kind of doesn't surprise me though. If they're trying to save money and they're like, "Hey, let's uh, they're try to reload it." I'm surprised. Yeah, let's Army recycle these sells ammunition. Yeah, I don't. I'm, they're I'm like, not oh, that you surprised. like this? These are old Vietnamese two, two, three that we picked up of the Viet Cong. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is New Hampshire though, so that doesn't surprise me too, too bad. I feel like if we were in mass... Well, that's like... You can just gift guns in New Hampshire. As long as you're right. over 16, you can just give someone a gun. A yeah. Gift. Do you need it in writing? I don't remember nope. that. It's just like... You can just hand it to them. You verbally say, yep, yeah, no, this was a gift. And... I have a couple gifted ones. Yeah. I forget who the quote was, but he was like, if you're afraid of firearms... This is an old guy. He's like, if you're afraid of gun liberties and firearms, you're either sexually retarded or like half of like a fucking pea brain oblivion <laughs> or something. Yeah. It's a fact. I firmly believe everyone on the planet should shoot a gun, but probably on a yearly me. basis. Well, it's not the gun that kills someone, it's a bullet. Yeah, well, I think on a <laughs> yearly basis, if someone shoots a gun, they kind of know... It puts things into perspective, I think. Because, like, until I shot my first gun, I didn't really think people could get hurt that bad. Oh, you'll get fucking destroyed. Yeah. Like, even, it's just a silhouette, but you see what it does as a silhouette. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, I was a kid, and I don't know if, I, uh, it wasn't really silhouette in the situations I was in, but it just didn't seem like anything was really that serious until you hear the gunshot, and then you're like, oh, this thing can kill people. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Tulsi Gabbard introduces Bill to protect sport women's sports based on biological sex. I actually did want to talk about this. You want to take a quick break? And welcome back. Uh, you'll notice the camera angle and my tone is probably a bit different because just a few seconds ago for you, we were about to talk about Tulsi Gabbard on Twitter. But it has actually been a full day for me. Uh, basically, right after that, me and Dicky had to uh, bounce real quick. We had to leave and go do something for his girl. Um, and then when we got back, we drank 26 beers. Yes, you heard that correctly. We had 13 beers each, or maybe I had 14, he had 12, he had 14, I had 12. Regardless, we drank a lot. Uh, I've been trying to wake up for the past two hours. A little, uh, little droggy, is that the word? I don't know. But uh, don't feel good, to say the least. Um, but the show must go on. I am going to finish it. Basically, all that article from Tulsi Gabbard said was she signed a bill to protect women in sports, like biological women. Um, I just agree with it. I think it's kind of stupid if a man becomes a woman that he gets to play in women's sports. Uh, it just doesn't seem fair to me, and I think the same thing vice versa. A woman becomes a man playing women's sports. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's the end of that. Uh, before I get off this week, I wanted to talk about the Grinch love. And how everyone I've been seeing recently is like, oh, the Grinch was never really a bad person. Um, he just hated people, and he got bullied into it, so he's like the good guy. And I feel like it's like cool now for our generation, our society, to like agree with things that were, I don't know, an unpopular opinion or never something you'd normally agree with, like the Grinch. Like the Grinch, I mean, he wasn't really like a villain, but no one's ever said this type of stuff. Like, oh, the Grinch is actually like a good person. Like, I'm the Grinch. I fucking hate people, but I love Christmas type of thing. I don't know. I, I think it's weird. But knowing our generation, in two years, Hitler's going to be loved. And all the other... Fucking criminals. You like how I went from the Grinch to Hitler? <laughs> kind of a step up. Yeah. Um, again, this was supposed to be a Christmas episode, and we were going to have more things, but since Eric couldn't make it, um, and me and Jake kind of just did that last second, it wasn't really that coordinated. So we couldn't do much. Um, Next week, we will do kind of a New Year's and Christmas thing. We're going to do a little bit of both. Uh, might try to get a little Christmas music into that one, too, just to get everyone in the feeling. Um, we'll have a sponsorship thing to announce as well. I am going to wrap up this episode because I don't got much that can hold that'll be that entertaining. Um, one thing I did want to say that me and fucking Jake or Dickie briefly talked about but we had to cut the cameras off for multiple reasons. Uh, we were in, like, high school and shit together, like, middle school, me and him, and um, there was this one fucking class that we had together, Spanish class in freshman year or sophomore year. I'm not sure, because uh, he dropped out after fro sophomore year, but um, I want to say sophomore year, we had Spanish class together. And that teacher literally didn't give a fuck what that kid did. There was this one time where Jake slash Dickie farted in class. And it smelled so bad that <laughs> the teacher asked him to leave. She literally said, oh my god, that's horrible. Like, Jake, go outside, go take a walk. Um, and he would just leave and, like, go to the cafeteria and, like, go shoot the shit get some food, do all sorts of things. Um, and that was one thing about our school is that if you could get from, you can get snacks and shit from the cafeteria all day. Um, obviously, if you hung out there, someone 
some teachers and shit, probably the security guards would probably walk over and be like, hey, uh, what the fuck are you doing? You know, you should be in class, but I think we moved around so much that we never really got caught or anything, and no one really, well, I mean, people stopped us, but those are other stories. And yeah, so the, that class was just hella fun. Um, there was this time when I could have even been around that same time. Uh, Jake was gone, and I was in the class, and I was gonna go to the bathroom, so I went to like sign out to go to the bathroom. And the Spanish teacher just was like, "Hey, John, uh, you going to see Jake?" Like instead of asking if I was going to the bathroom. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, you see if you can get him to come back before the class is over. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll try. And then I went to the cafeteria, and then we just got some food, chilled for a while. I don't even know if we went back. But, yeah, me and Jake have some uh, interesting stories, to say the least. But we unfortunately couldn't talk about most of them due to the legality of them. Um we would be incriminating, and a lot of the people involved in some of these stories could get offended. So, yeah, uh, this week was a short episode, but we will be back next week. We will be back every week t since then. Uh, thank you to Jake and Dickie. I'm not making any fucking sense, man. I'm fucking... Whoo! I don't even know if this is going to be... This is like the second cut I've done to close this episode, and I might do another one. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, wow. Email brutalview at gmail.com. Email us, uh, you know, Christmas-related stuff, New Year's stuff, what you think the COVID vaccine will be like. Uh, obviously, comment this stuff on the YouTube if you're listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit that like button. Everyone listening on all the other platforms, we love you. I love you. Please keep listening. We will only try to get better and better. 603-922-4074. I am John, a.k.a. Brute. Dickie joined me. He is an old, old friend and also an old co-host. Anyone's from back in the day... Yeah, we'll be back. Thanks for, uh...